Welcome back to Sport International Basketball Channel series The Blueprint about playing basketball overseas. My fourth video is about the process to become a professional. Thought, everybody's career path is different. There is a art, not a science, to building one's career. Money should not always be at the top of your list when making career decisions. For most players, the salaries at the beginning are comparatively lower than in industries. You should give greater weight to the club reputation and your future potential with the club than for the salary. A career move that may seem like a step back can often be necessary to set yourself up for a larger leap later down the line. Job satisfaction keeps you loving your sport. As a player, you're entering a brutal free market. Since you mostly will receive one-year deals, you likely will hit the free agency market every off-season. In addition, getting paid for playing basketball will ask a lot more sacrifices of you than for a regular job. Important professional qualities include athleticism, concentration, decision-making skills, dedication, eye-hand coordination, stamina and the ability to work well as a team player. The primary strengths to become a paid athlete or sports competitor are superior talent and extensive knowledge of the basketball game. Ask yourself if you are a true professional. As a professional basketball player, you get paid to train and perform in official sporting events, often for entertainment purposes. Becoming a professional athlete also requires mental fortitude. The ability to predict opposing players' movements and remain aware of things such as other players' weaknesses and strength and keeping track of the game clock are all important skills. You will need to keep your body in peak fitness condition at all times and you will constantly have to refine and develop your basketball techniques. You will need to manage your diet, train hard every day and have a serious amount of drive and determination. It is expected that you are a player who understands what's going to happen on the court before everybody else does. Therefore, you are not reacting what is happening right now, you are reacting to what will happen in two, three, four or five seconds. You are like a chess master who is thinking four, five, six moves ahead. You are not going for the ball, you are going to the position where the ball is going to be. Even if you fulfill these skills, and you are the star player of the team, you should see yourself as the role player, the player who solves the problems of the team and gives everything what the team is missing. Like you expect, it is not easy and simple as walking on the court and say, here I am, and I can play and lead your team to a championship. The process is quite tricky, and if you are not well prepared, you will waste a lot of time, energy and money for nothing. If you are not a NCAA 1 superstar, you will have to invest a lot to reach your goals with no guarantee of a return. You will be evaluated at a supreme level. And if you don't deliver your best, your contract is over. Nobody is interested in you playing good basketball. They expect from you on the foreigner position to dominate the game. Meaning your skill level needs to be higher than your teammates and you need to accept that there might be teammates making more money than you because of their role within the team and or their nationality. There are rarely teams who expect from the pro to come on the floor and take over. Basketball is a team sport and the level of the player is increasing every year. Old days when US players could just do whatever they want on the floor and score are over since decades. The coaches expect from you to understand their philosophy and execute it without questioning it. To prepare yourself, ask, what experience do I have in different playing styles? How fast can I adapt my game? How diverse are my skills? How quick do I learn plays and are able to execute them perfectly with all the options? You must be capable in adapting your lifestyle and mindset to live in a foreign country and different cultures. It could be that you have to leave your club in the middle of the season and play somewhere else in a different country in the next week. Disregard any circumstances. It is important to stay focused while playing basketball overseas. It is very challenging. 
be able to recognize quickly what is important by devoting your attention to it, you can be successful. Realize that the world does not revolve around you. Distractions will affect you. There are many in a positive and negative way. Finding the balance in all aspects of your life will be demanding. For the dominant factor, priority is basketball. I will cover this subject in one of my next videos, Loneliness and Exploration. Think about these employment numbers I mentioned in a previous video for a minute. The options are not infinite. This career path is very difficult to attain. And I know a lot of good players who end up not playing because the team think another player is better or his shooting percentage is 2% higher. I have seen players get selected because of their size, even that the competitors are better players. I have seen players being evaluated by one club as very poor performers and then they get hired by another club in the same league and score 18 points per game. I'm sure you have heard the stories or seen the movies about basketball superstars being the last in practice, doing extra sessions, hiring a personal trainer and working harder than the rest. If the best players in the world continuously working to get better, think about your chances if you're not doing the same. Appreciate the opportunity given to you. Adapt and make the best out of every situation. If the situation is not good, find a way to get through it and reach the other side. Even if you're right and something is not your fault, you may have to accept that the coach or manager sees it differently. Rule 1. The coach is always right. Rule 2. If the coach is not right, Rule 1 applies. Oops, I almost forgot. The referee is always right. Be lucky if you have an open-minded and reflecting coach, but do not expect it. Remember that you are in a temporary situation. It could change with the next game, but for sure at the end of the season. Use every challenge to grow and make yourself a better person. Coaches can play an instrumental role in helping you to get to the next level. You must be disciplined. Discipline is a skill. There are practices, lots of practices, and often many more practices than games. It is about a 10 to 1 ratio. Practicing twice per day, Monday to Friday, and having one game per week on a Saturday or Sunday. If you are playing in the top leagues, you might have two to three games per week, plus long travels in between practices. You have to show up and stand out, especially since you are one of a few and maybe the only foreigner on the team. You are held to different standard. Everyone is watching you every day. You cannot be late, you cannot vanish, even when everybody else is. Keep moving, be ready, be able to improvise. Be smart, be creative, don't get on anybody's nerves. Accept no's, especially if they're looking for a center and you are a 5'9 player. Always be a team player with a will to play defense. If you realize that you either are not ready mentally or physically or suffer some skills, this does not mean the end. Analyze your game and skills. It could be the first step that you figured out what you do not know, which leads you to the steps you need to do to get there, if you are coachable. Watch basketball games may need to learn and secondary to enjoy. You only have a few years as a pro. The average retirement age for pros is 30 years old. Here are my 32 tips to climb the ladder. Become a leader. Motivate yourself. Encourage a desire to always improve. Be a good teammate. Listen what the coaches expect. Encourage team bonding. Keep your body in excellent condition. Improve your reflexes and coordination. Learn how to perform well under pressure. Be competitive, be disciplined, be prepared to travel a lot and or relocate. Abide by curfew or other restrictions. Improve your decision-making skills, dedication. Improve your hand-eye coordination. Have stamina, time management, commitment. Clearly articulate your achievements. Be open for new challenges. Appreciate those who are helping you. Money should not be at the top of your list when making career decisions. Follow special diets. Do not surround yourself with only followers. Accept criticism from people who want to move you forward. Follow the rule of the sport during competitions and games. Study your opponents. Realistic self-assessment. 
Only if you know your weaknesses, you can turn them into strengths. Cure injuries and illnesses, control and stop momentary lapse in concentration. If you are missing some information, please write a note in the below comment section. I will summarize these questions to subjects and prepare a question and answer video at the end of the series.